I heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur of the moment business proposition. Yeah, of course he did. I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him. A, uh, say, where did he go? You know, Carl Sagan. He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. Hmm. Oh, I know how that is. Greetings and salutations to all our honored guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress, and it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. What are you? Yeah. No, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. Great. Come on, let's get up there. Where the hell have you been carrying that? And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Yes. Block bearings. Block bearings. Raised position. Check. Then it looks like all systems are gone. Wish me luck. I don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown. Objection! Uh oh. Objection, Your Honor. I hereby demand that the scientific demonstration of one Emmett Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity. I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father. Where is he? Hand him over this instant. Emmett, are you up there? <clears throat> you don't think you can shelter him? Um, you're making Come a on, scene. Mr. Uh, Judge, sir, you're kind of making a scene here. Wrong. I am stopping my son from making a scene here. Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything. So he is up there with you. Thanks a lot. Son, I order you to come down from there this second. I'm counting. I want to speak to my son. Why are you not Emmett's going to? Not ready to talk to you uh, directly. Oh, God. I suppose you're his mouthpiece. I guess so. Yeah. Yep. You can't talk him out of it. His mind is made up. So, if talking won't work, there's always threshing. Okay. Can't you two have it out later? You mean after he's gone through with this ridiculous stunt? Yeah. No! Uh. If I can say so, sir, the problem is, is you're coming on too strong. You intimidate him. I don't intimidate him enough. That's the problem. Uh. Stay right there. I'm not going anywhere. Good. Fear! Emmett. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Just go deal with him. What have you got to lose? Well, that's what they said to Custer. So, what's your plan? I just stand here like this indefinitely. After a few centuries, the process of petrification will set in, and that'll be that. Okay, ah. that is a plan. Maybe he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. You Oi. So, is your client prepared to make a statement? Uh, he says you he won't says listen. it's no use talking to you. You never listen? That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge it. Stay right there. Emmett. Emmett, oh, God. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. He promised to listen to you. He said he'll listen to you. Well, at least give it a shot. Father? Son? You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. 
I you don't know what it's like. Oh, God. You don't know what it's like to have dreams. To have ambitions so great and so powerful that they've got a life of their own. Okay, calm down. And to hang on for dear life while they've got a bond where they must. This is America, Pop. And in America, a person doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Well, we talked. Are you happy? Please, you gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. Um. See, Your Honor, it's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. Yeah. A childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. That's what I'm afraid of. And it's just stubborn, willful, single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Um. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kind of good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake, those are traits that lead to trouble. He gets them from his mother. Okay. Look, Your Honor, you don't see it, but there's an awful lot riding on Emmett's demonstration. All the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Oh my god. The eyes, young man. I expect you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going to be a success? Uh Do I lie or not? Ip dip doo doo, cat's got flu doo, hen's got chicken pots, out goes you. Sure. Uh sure it will. Ha! You know as well as I how it's oh, no, disaster. Maybe, and maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Emmett has exceeded his quota for one lifetime. It's my job as his father to see to it there are no more mistakes. Emmett's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but nowadays you, you gotta take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Uh -huh. Try moving to a strange country where you don't speak the language. There's only two dollars to your name. You? You bet your socks, me. And I made out all right, too. How'd your dad feel about it at the time? Papa? He was fit to be tied. He called me a disobedient little... Oh. So your father didn't approve of you coming to America? Well... Papa never really understood the younger generation. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to. Tell him I'll listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. All right. Get him somewhere. Play peacemaker again, Pollyanna. Deep down, he's just worried about you hurting yourself. No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted okay. into my spirit. Okay, so he's got a strong personality. Strong personality. Lord save us from strong fathers. Why couldn't I have been born to a nice wimpy milk toast? Um. Yeah, well, that's no picnic either. <laughs> the important thing is, fathers can change. Says you. He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. Well, that's the limit. If he's not satisfied with insulting me, he's got to drag my mother through the dirt, too. Mother isn't at all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like... Oh, skip it. Oh. I really think he means it this time. He won't listen to me. You what? are starting to say that you're like... Skip it. Can it be that you and your dad? No. Next subject. Emmett, stop being a dope. You've got your pride, okay? Yeah. I get it. And so does he. But what's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. May I come up? Ah. So, you think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? Yes, yes I do. And I'm here to say, if any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, 
I insist on being there to support him. Oh, Bob. You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne. You see the force field generated by the static accumulator. Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his electrokinetic levitator. Yay! Oh. Oh. Ah. Yay. Uh oh. Change her. Things could be different. Oh no. Forget about it. Come on. We gotta find a way to stop her before. No, don't come any closer. Oh no. Stop. Go away. But... Move. Move. Party. Oh my god, Doc! Say something. Chromium, lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium, ruthenium. I'll get, I'll get help. Oh. Paper. What? You mean? get you to a hospital doc you're gonna be okay yes oh i think i am going to be okay marty no come on doc doc don't do this don't go oh doc come back Uh oh. Wait a minute. Doc? Marty, have you been out here the whole time? Damn it. Um, is it over already? Oh, it's over, all right. You missed a very <laughs> wild party. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Oh, what am um. thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is going play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. I wonder. If we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into electrokinetic force, one might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! Ah. Uh, what comes so, next? What comes next? Work, work, and more work. A few more stumbles, followed by a breakthrough or two. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... I'm sorry, is something wrong? 
Uh... It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh... I lost somebody. Oh, how sad. Anyone I know? It was, uh... Carl Sagan. What? The guy who tried to hire me in there? You were friends with him? Um... Strange. But how... Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here... But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Uh, please, Emmett, don't ask What's any... What's this? Uh... Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. I can't tell you about the future. You wouldn't understand. Oh yeah, try me. What's that? An explanation. But you've got to promise me, don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? Emmett! Just promise. Emmett, where are you, my son? I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to something. Just, just say you promise. Okay, I promise. Oh. Wait. I will see you again, right? Gosh, you will. I guarantee it. Bye. Wait a minute, what? Hey, it worked. Doc! So, you were the same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. How was the ceremony? Long. You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. Only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? Um... I came to make sure you stayed on the path of science. As opposed to what? The dog food business? Politics. Politics? That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it wasn't. Never mind, it's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies. Me? Nah, no. Well, I'm still a little confused about my... Wait. Where is he? Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. Oh my god, it's his name! Have you see my Artie oh, anywhere? Michael J. Fox! Artie McFly? That's the one. Just got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe this it? This is what, yeah, it is. Hitched? Married. I swear, that boy's gonna put his papa in an early grave. So that's how she got her job back. Ah, he, he's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was great grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. Ugh. Holy crap, uh, Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of. That car! Uh oh. Great. How the hell did she get back here? Oh you, shit. You? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, 
Did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Yeah. Well, Wait, Edna Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it. It made a loud noise, and then wham! Nothing! Shit. Great Scott! Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... You think she uh -oh. might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Uh, guys, you mind telling me what the hell you're... Um. Oh God. Doc? Did we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. How? Something must have happened to it a long time ago. Uh oh. Wait, Willie. <laughs> Didn't think I was saying that. Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, it's, a, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. Look, maybe you can help us. Uh, where's Hill Valley? Hill Valley. Well, which is it, a hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it, though. Just as I suspect. Uh-oh. Uh, Wait, where'd Hill it go? Hill Valley go away? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then, whatever it was, must have happened at least 45 years ago. Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county. Never it must be a... Say, if there's anybody who could tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct this to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. I can get to talk to her. talk to me. I'm I'm pretty good with women. <laughs> the thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched. If you catch my drift, she doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck and. Don't say I didn't warn you. I got a notion I'll be kicking myself for sending you up there. Hi. Can I drive? 